Hello there. People often ask me how to create a good AdWords campaign. Well, I have to tell you that this is where it gets a little personal because I am a big fan of uh, Google AdWords as a system. I can talk about it for hours, but I will try to keep it short this time. Um, I assume that everyone who asks this question uh, is already familiar with uh, Google AdWords, um, at least on a basic level. So you should know that uh, AdWords is an advertising system that uh, allows you to show your business ads to people searching for the keywords that you bid for. So this is an important part. I want you to keep this in mind. Uh, now a quick reminder on how a typical Google AdWords uh, account is structured. Within your account, you may have a number of uh, advertising campaigns. Uh, within each campaign, you have a number of ad groups and each ad group has keywords and ads. And uh, the important part here is that um, whenever people search for any keyword from your ad group, they will be able to see any ad from this group. So uh, you want to make sure that the keywords in your group are pretty similar and that it's okay if uh, people will see the same ads for whatever keyword they search for in this group. Um, now, uh, there's a couple of, a number of tips that, uh, that I share with people asking me uh, about how to create a good AdWords campaign. Uh, they're very beginner friendly, you know, uh, anyone can, uh, can take care of, uh, of all of these five tips. And uh, if, you, uh, if you do take care of them, uh, I guarantee that your campaign will be a lot better than most of the campaigns in the world because uh, according to my experience, uh, I can tell that uh, most of the business owners uh, who are not exactly advertising professionals, they forget about these practices and uh, uh, which, you know, which in the end uh, makes them, uh, you know, be disappointed about their uh, AdWords campaigns. So tip number one is um, structuring your campaign in a smart way. This means that uh, what I've already mentioned, uh, within ad group you should uh, place the similar keywords, the keywords they have something in common, they have a lot in common uh, because uh, the well all of these keywords will be eligible to, you know, to trigger the same ads. And uh, you have to make sure that it is okay uh, to, you know, to display that ad for either of the keywords in your ad group. Um, that's, that's about it for the, the, the campaign structure. Uh, and there's also an important component of the AdWords success, which is the account structure. This means how you, uh, uh, well, how you structure the campaigns in your account. Uh, the, the, the best practice here is to have one campaign for one product. If you have 10 products uh, on your website, you're going to have at least 10 campaigns. You may have more uh, if you want to, you know, to decompose uh, things uh, further, but you uh, cannot have two products in one campaign. You don't want to be, uh, you don't want your account to be a mess. The third tip is using the right keywords. The trick here is uh, finding the right balance between keywords that are too narrow and keywords that are too generic, uh, like being too specific and not being specific at all. Uh, because uh, when, you're, uh, when you're too specific, uh, you will not get a lot of ad impressions and therefore you will get few or clicks or no clicks at all, uh, which is not something that you want. If you're going with keywords that are too generic, uh, then you will probably get a lot of clicks, but these clicks will not be relevant. So they will not have value for your business. They will be less likely to convert into, you know, into a purchase or a lead or a sign up or whatever it is that you're after. Um, the, the fourth tip is uh, using the right match type. This is something that uh, that end users or business owners 
uh, never use actually <laughs> because well I don't know they probably just don't know that uh, that it's possible and uh, uh, they do not understand how valuable or how critical it is for their campaign success uh, there are three match types the broad match type the phrase match type and the exact match type for example if you're selling a photography equipment and you're bidding for well and that's your keyword the photography equipment uh, if you go with the broad match type uh, then the system the AdWords system will show your ad not only for searches that have uh, photography equipment in them but also for searches that have either photography or equipment in them so uh, for example when, when uh, you know, someone may be searching for drilling equipment and since they have the equipment uh, component in their keyword your ad may show up for that search you definitely don't want that because that's not a relevant uh, click for your uh, for your campaign and that will be money going to waste um, the next is the phrase this means that the ad will be triggered by searches that contain the keyword uh, with you know with the previous example of photography equipment uh, the ad will show up for searches like buy photography equipment or uh, photography equipment reviews etc so something that contains uh, your keyword or its close variation so that's that's already better right it makes uh, uh, the search more relevant for you uh, and the last um, major uh, match type is the exact match type this means that your ad will only be triggered by searches uh, looking exactly the way that you have uh, put in your uh, uh, in your campaign uh, with our example this will mean that only searches that look like photography equipment not surrounded by anything not containing anything else uh, will trigger your ad so this is actually something that's very narrow this is something that's very generic and very broad uh, and phrase is actually you know the, the sweet spot of balance uh, it's actually something that I prefer to use and uh, that I recommend to use uh, and it's actually something that helps you to find the right balance in this uh, tip as well uh, and the final uh, recommendation, the suggestion, is using the right ads in your campaign. This means that your ad has to have several components that will make, well, will make it successful, will make people want to click it. You have to have a call to action, uh, and this has to be a call to action that's, again, not too generic. Uh, because uh, if, you, uh, if you use the click now or click here, uh, this is not a, a, exactly a best practice, but uh, if you use the uh, something that's, uh, that, that sounds like uh, choose the one for your business or something, uh, something that you know, has a verb in it, that's already much better. Um, you also want to have several selling points in your ad, like, uh, like a 10% discount or 5,000 happy clients served or something else that you know that that will help your ad stand out uh, from uh, the others uh, in that search page and uh, the the last thing about the, the ad is they have to contain keywords uh, it's not only you know it's not enough to show your ad for the keyword it's also a um, a good thing to do uh, to you know to have your keywords uh, uh, in that ad as well uh, this will help you get more clicks for that ad uh, and uh, the AdWords system itself will uh, see that ad as something that's more relevant and eventually you'll uh, you'll pay less for every click so it's definitely something that, uh, that you should not forget about that's pretty much it for now uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you have I'll be happy to answer. I will see you on our next episodes. Take care. Bye-bye.